What's up guys? Today we're going to be building some homemade gravity feeders. I've never really liked feeders in the past because I've never tried any that I could really get good bucks to come to that well. Well this year my buddy Weston Sloan up in West Virginia made some and he had Kentucky bucks come to him like almost instantly and really I think it played a big part in his success this year because everywhere I'd put out corn I'd throw it on the ground because I didn't like feeders and it'd get rained on and ruin and Weston had big bucks coming to all his and they took to him within like a week. But anyway, he's just making them out of 55 gallon drums. So I went and got 18 55 gallon drums. I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is paint them. And to do that, you take denatured alcohol and rub it on them to test if it's latex or oil based. These happen to be latex, which is ideal because the, if, when I paint them, the smell of a latex paint ain't gonna last as long as the oil based. But you rub denatured alcohol on them and if the, paint, if the finish comes off, you know that they're latex. If it doesn't, you know that they're oil based. Anyway, did that, they're latex. I went and got two gallons of exterior flat latex paint. I'm gonna go ahead and paint them. Theoretically, that, that camo is gonna help. Cause I'm gonna paint them camo and I'm gonna kind of brush them in and hopefully, be able to get bucks to come to them pretty quick but like i said they came to weston's pretty quick so we'll see i decided to go with a light green as my base coat and then come in with spray paint and do like accent colors so i got my sprayer primed up just got to run the paint through the hose and then we'll we'll get to spraying them okay got paint coming out I'll unload these off the trailer and spray them. My dad's here helping me, by the way. Anything do to help. I forgot to mention the barrels were $25 a piece. And then I spent about $60 on two gallons of paint, which I think will do 18 of them. So that's only going to add about $3 a barrel. So right now we're at like $28 a barrel plus whatever the spray paint is. You know, that's literally like a tenth of the cost of what you would pay for a 350 pound gravity feeder. So it's kind of really a no-brainer. camera all right we got our base coat on the paint store didn't have any like cheap spray cans for our uh accent colors but we're gonna head to the hardware store real quick get that and get these bad boys painted I'm definitely not an artist all right we got them painted we're running out of daylight but we're gonna come back tomorrow and Finish them up, show you guys how we do that, and they'll be ready to go. Alright, now that we've got them spray painted, we're just going to cut a little hole in the bottom and According to Weston, the perfect dimensions are three inches wide by like an inch and a half tall. So we're going to take a grinder and knock those out and then they'll be ready to go. About got it wrapped up. Got 18 of them made at literally like a tenth of the cost. It would have cost to go buy 350 pound gravity feeders. Uh, gonna get these up there high in Kentucky and probably put two or three in a spot where we can feed about a thousand pounds at a time where we ain't gotta go up there so often and feed and you know, hopefully put them to good use and make something happen this year. Y'all, thanks for watching. If you like what you see and wanted to see how the hunts go and everything, consider subscribing and everything else. Appreciate it.